Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Beth Page Ballpark Central Islip, home of the Long Island Ducks. Six amazing artists, Jaron in the Long Road to Love, Sarah Darling, Due West, Jacob Lida, Bad Horse, and Long Island's own Lisa Matassa. And the whole show will be followed by the Grucci Fireworks Extravaganza. So let's go check it out and get it underway. A lot of people don't realize that there's a lot more country outside of Nashville. As you can tell with 96.1 now out on Long Island, it's it's about time. A lot of people really love country music and it's and it's great that it's making a huge insurgence right now on Long Island and I'm just so happy to be a part of it. People can relate to the storytelling of country music and, and that's what I love when I write. It's from the heart, it's from experience, and you just tell a story. And there's so many people out there that respond to that because they've lived it. They have gone through similar situations. So it's, it's great to try to appeal to the masses and have a great time doing it. We were uh, doing a lot of songwriting about four years ago and went to Nashville and did some recordings and then decided to get a band put together. So uh, we got that and got some of the best musicians that I know of personally. So it, we, got, we lucked out. I mean, we're Georgia boys, you know, so. But not only that, it's just the people. I mean, we love what country music does. It, it, it describes every, everything in our, our lifestyle, and there's so many others that, that go with it. You don't have to worry if our story winds up on the radio. I'll change the name so you and I be the only ones who will ever know. My mama said, hey, I'll buy you a hamburger if you sing a song, and I was hungry. So uh, I got up there and I sang Don't Close Your Eyes. That was my first song, and that was 20 years ago. So since then, I've, it's been a lot of honky-tonks and dives and flea markets and yard sales and backyard barbecues and family reunions. <laughs> Made in the Shade uh, is a story about me and my father. We, we went out and got some old cars and we would come home and restore them and, and, uh, and made in the Shade. It was born in Detroit, the car was, but it was made in the Shade, so we put them back together. And I think country music, it didn't exist back in the 1776, but I bet you uh, somebody probably was playing it. You know, didn't know they were. Your fans know when songs are, are personal to you, they can really feel them with you, and that's important to me when I go out there on stage that I'm connecting with my audience. When you're broken, I My grandfather got me into singing country music when I was about 13. I just fell in love with it because it was just very much a part of the way I grew up and uh, he loved it so much and it just represents family and, and all the things that I, my whole family was built on, the morals and, and standards. And I just, I love country music and I love what it stands for and the fans are amazing. I've always played that sort of melodic harmonies and um, country sort of got it. the songs that I, w I was on the radio in 2000s with pop and that sound has sort of migrated over to what country's doing so it worked out really well. Sweet, really do, 
Country music has been kept from this part of the country for a long time, and so you can tell by this crowd out here tonight that y'all are excited to have country music back in Long Island, and we're happy to be a part of it. We're happy to be the very first band to ever play at 96.1, uh, my country station, uh, in the conference room, and of course we're on the bill here tonight and uh, having a good time, so Long Island knows how to country. That's right. <laughs> We're definitely uh, honored and uh, proud of our forefathers that uh, made this all happen and we, uh, we just hope we can continue to hold on to that stuff as we move forward in this, uh, in this beautiful country that we've been blessed with. Mama was an angel, daddy was a brimstone, one foot in heaven.